the project uh, was founded in 2011 and it's called the days of the child prodigy are over and basically it is initiated by drawings and texts meeting performance so it's like um, drawings meet texts meet performance but it's quite yeah, diverse, so I think that's a simple way of putting it. Well, in the beginning we were going to have um, drawings and text in a very kind of massive like dialogue, you know? So it was drawing, text, drawing, text, going back and forth. But uh, it turned out that, uh, yeah, the writer and uh, the visual artists work in different tempo. So it turned out being more of text, no, more of like drawings. Yes. So basically, instead of doing it like text drawing, text drawing, we started like communicating about it and like creating a world, basically. And then we introduced like the draft of the world that we had to the performers, which um, came, we all met in Berlin. After me and Raquel had been working on it for a little bit, we all met in, in Berlin in March, right? And started working on a performance. So it's like we have a topic, which is the days of the child prodigy are over, and then we're ta tackling it from like all angles, basically like through poetry and, and drawings, which will be published in a book, and also from like the three-dimensional performance yeah, so we we were kind of invited into this world that had been created already with the drawings and text. And um, yeah, in this meeting in Berlin in March, where we spent a week together, we, yeah, we took that stand to, uh, to work with characters. And so we started molding characters out of these sources that we had given and yeah and then we basically took it from there um do you want to continue well i'd just like to say <laughs> <laughs> um are you f are you also photographing me uh, no, no, are you taking this video, no, this video. Ah. but she's a visual artist no no but ah. it's just recorded yeah, yeah it's just no, voice I, if i do this it doesn't come in to the yeah, image. Yes, ah, you do, you yes, do. Yes, it you does. <laughs> so basically, we were working with five characters that were established through the text into a, uh, a very special text, which is in between a script and a play and poetry. And through that, we try to translate it into performative figures and to a certain space that would be interesting for these for these characters to to exist in and so we slowly developed um, the characteristics of these characters and then the relationship between them and 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 then came the set and yeah I think in the end came the set and the more practical uh, engagement um, in space yeah, I think that what was interesting is like to try to find the situation which like the poetry and the visual more visual characters can kind of integrate together so we kind of this was the whole idea of this radio show that can contain both like more abstract poet like poetic text and more like to draw some kind of a narrative of what the fact those characters are doing in the same room um, and i think this is kind of what we've done I'm Yair, um, I'm from Israel, I was living in Berlin for many years and uh, I'm a theater maker and a lighting designer and curator. Hi, I'm Anat Eisenberg, I'm 29 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm professional amateur. Um, I live in Berlin and I'm a performance uh, director. I have a background in choreography. I have a really sexy boyfriend. <laughs> True that. <laughs> I am Saga Sigurdardóttir. Um, I'm from Iceland and I'm a dancer. 
I'm Bergþóra Snæbistóttir and I'm from Iceland too and I'm I guess you could say poet or text creator or something like that. Yeah, but yeah. Content Con I'm content supplier. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eva. I'm from Iceland. I'm a set and costume designer and builder maker. <laughs> <laughs> and the most popular girl in this group. <laughs> uh, my name is Raquel. I am a visual artist and a performance artist and from Iceland. Half Irish. One quarter Swedish. Einar Eberg, the musician Eberg. We have to thank him a lot because he created this sound space magnificence that the characters, they got their own voice. Um, so he created this, yeah, he basically gave them a very unique voice and then he did the sound to this performance. Thank you. Thank you.